The trouble with this movie is that they had way too much virtue signaling. Elaborate they, on that. That that was all infused in through it. So I don't know who financed this movie. I, I don't know the, the political inclination of this, but the slaves did not bring farming technology over from Africa. The Do you think it's possible for us to go back to everything organic farming? No, like we don't we don't have to totally do that. Okay. But we shouldn't just make it into robo farm. Hello and welcome to The Real Generation Gap. My name is Shane Schuldmeyer. And I'm Fred Satilli. And today we're doing something a little different. We're doing a documentary. Fred went to a special screening of this documentary and I'm gonna ask him some questions and we will be reviewing... Common Ground. Common Ground. All right, Fred, so what's this movie about? Or this documentary, I should say. Right, well, yeah, and, and, it, and it's good that you say that because it's not a movie. Yes. It's just a collection of sound bites and a collection of oh. images. There's okay. There's... There's no boots on the ground camera f filming at all? The, the, the message of the movie is so important that all of America needs to see and be aware of this, and th these have to be, become big political issues. Okay. If we don't restore the soil, we're gonna, the country is going to turn into a desert. Okay. We, we, ha we have to... Dirt and soil are two different things. Soil is a living thing, mm -hmm. and dirt is a dead thing. Okay. To have living plants to grow our food, to have to live in living soil. Mm -hmm. And this, this is the big issue of the movie. Okay. That these, these farmers uh, have come to realize that this chemical style of farming, which was basically after World War II, the, the chemical companies, they... They wanted to create chemical solutions to feeding the world. Okay. And they started doing it, but they, they didn't consider toxic consequences. Mm -hmm. And so there's a as whole... Far, like as many things, other than just soil. There's right. So many things are probably going to have right. toxic Right, 5G. Yeah. Yeah, so... Right, so a bunch of farmers have gotten together, mm -hmm. and it's, it's, this is worldwide. Mm -hmm. Okay, there, so this is not just the U.S. There's a movie just like this, a guy in Australia... Mm -hmm. who he's australia's got a lot of desert land mm -hmm. and this guy puts on ground cover so that the water that does come will be retained mm -hmm. because if you don't have ground cover the water just erodes the soil away and you're left with desert dirt yeah so these these people are saying there's low water consuming ground cover okay. that will not only dig down into the ground with its roots and help the water percolate in and save the water that does rain, mm. but then it will decompose and it will add nutrients. And after a while, that dirt will become soil. And it's to, to add desert land to become farmland it, for feeding the world. This is what needs to be done like crazy. And you can't do it with chemicals. Okay. It has to be done with organic plants, the ground cover. So the documentary follows farmers trying to say, let's fix our soil that's right okay now the problem is is that the chemical companies have mm -hmm. created hybrid grains that will only grow with their chemicals so you have to use their pesticide their fertilizer and this stuff is expensive interesting so and you're saying the grains that the farmers grow will only grow with the use of the pesticides from right. say and, Monsanto or something. Right, and, and there's been many documentaries about Monsanto and rightfully so because yeah. they've been sued and sued and sued yeah. and sued yeah. because they made carcinogenic food, you yeah. know. It's Interesting. Been, yeah, it's, it's been really terrible. Okay. Now what's happening to us right now in, in this conversation is exactly what happens in the movie and it's what happens in all these conversations. This is such a multi-dimensional problem. Mm -hmm. Like for example, the chemical companies give grants of money to the colleges to teach young people to use their products. Uh. It's like in the medical field when you go to medical school and the answer to everything is a pill. Yeah. Right? It's not just you need more sleep and more exercise. Well, uh, maybe you need a couple of these pills some and those pills. Or <laughs> right. All kind of stuff. Yeah. And they have after effects and then they have pills that fix the, fix the side effects. Mm -hmm. You know, well, it was the same thing with this industry. Hmm. So you have a government that's being bought and sold by the chemical companies. Mm -hmm. You have a university that's being bought and sold. You have farmers who have no option. Mm -hmm. They have to do this. Yeah. They, they, have, they don't have the organic seed 
the only seed that they can buy is the seed that you need the, that fertilizer and that pesticide. And, and uh, That's th interesting. I've never even heard of that. You think you can grow anything, any seed, put in the soil, take care of it. Well, first of all, you need soil. Yeah. Yeah, it's not dirt. Yeah. So if you go in the backyard and it's like clay, you're not going to, you can eat something that looks like chocolate cake. Yeah. You know? <laughs> okay. And, and that's some beautiful black rich earth. Mm -hmm. Now, I love gardening at my home. Mm -hmm. I'm more focused on flowers than food, yeah. but I have a compost bin. Okay. So when I get vegetable matter, you know, mm -hmm. weeds come up, yeah. I throw them in the con, they decompose and it becomes this beautiful black stuff. And this is why I have, a, you know, all kinds of orchids yeah. and beautiful flowers of all kind all over my house. Well, it's the same thing here. Mm -hmm. And interestingly, I just flew across the country. I went to Washington, D.C. for a week and you do the flyover mm -hmm. and you look down and you see like a green circle and yeah. then a brown circle and yeah. then a big green area and right next to it is a, a dead zone. Yeah. And it's because they're using this method that, that creates a dead zone. Mm -hmm. The rain comes down, it washes the soil away. There's nothing to hold that water and there's nothing to hold that soil. Yeah. And, and it's the same thing with, and, and once again, you see how multidimensional and complex this all is. Mm -hmm. So what you need is grazing animals. Okay. And these great big cows. And this is according to the documentary? Or yeah, this, this, is, is, this, this is, is stated extremely So how well. is this message delivered in the documentary do we follow a narrator just just, is there, yeah, just the way I'm i heard doing, jason yeah, momoa was part of it scatter shot well okay, uh, okay let, let's talk about well let me let me finish about the cattle uh, okay. yeah look the most handsome man that I ever lived they, <laughs> that's not jake john hall no no, oh, geez, <laughs> geez. no that's aquaman <laughs> that's who that is but um when you have when you have cattle okay you allow the cattle to come in and do a certain amount of grazing, not mm -hmm. eat every single little thing. Mm -hmm. You have them graze in an area for like one day and they defecate. Yep. And, and that adds nutrients. nutrients. Yep. And, and so the, the ground cover is still there to hold the rain. They're adding nutrients and their hooves smash up the soil. Okay. So the surface is all broken up so that seeds that birds bring and everything, weeds, basically seeds, will fall in there and grow and you'll have ground cover. It's free. Mm -hmm. You feed the cattle, you condition the, the ground for soil. Yeah. It's a wonderful thing. It's what you're supposed to do. It okay. works. Mm -hmm. It's working for the guy in Australia. It's How is this message portrayed? Is there a narrator? Because um, you said it's just a bunch of stills and stuff, so I'm trying to get it's, a, it's I'm trying terrible. to get an idea about yeah, right. Instead I know of, you care about the message, but let's talk about the documentary. Right. Is, we're, it, is we're, it good? We're getting, is it bad? How's the message there. portrayed? It's bad. It's bad. Yeah. <laughs> For one thing, they they have they have a wonderful uh, group of, of celebrities mm -hmm. that have come on to promote this. Woody Harrelson, okay, who everybody loves, I and love he has a movie him. now, Champions. Have you seen Champions? No. Everybody go see Champions, a fantastic movie. Look, look at him. Okay. He, he, he didn't present well. He even said, I, I guess I should have dressed better. Yeah. I mean, well, it's a, you, can, you can go back and dress better. Yeah. It wasn't funny. But um, Jason Momoa was in there, and so he, he what, told me he they... loved me. He says, we've got to fix the soil, and I'm telling you this because I love you. And I'm like, you're Aquaman, dude. You're a big, strong yeah. monster guy. You know, so Laura are Dern. They, are they narrating, or is it like the beginning of the movie? Like, this is important. Is that the end of the movie, like no, Sound just, of Freedom? they're just sort of endorsing it. Like the Laura beginning, Dern. middle, end? Yeah, all, all throughout. It's a mess. Yeah. It, it's, oh. it's not a really well-constructed just the way, thing. just the way I had saying like, well, there's the schools and there's the banks and the, yeah. you know the, the farmers need loans from the bank and then they're going broke and and so they gave you they gave you everything. You need to know everything in the movie, but it was presented badly. Hmm. And in the beginning, I said I would do two reviews. I said I would do one where I tell about what a fantastic thing it is because it, it it's a fantastic message and you need to know all this information. Mm -hmm. And you need to pr promote it and bring it to your politicians and bring it to your schools and bring it everywhere. It just has to be done. Mm -hmm. the Do you think it's possible for us to go back to everything organic farming? No, like we don't. We don't have to totally do that. Okay. But we shouldn't just make it into robo farm. Yeah. I mean, some of these farms are vast. There are thousands and thousands of acres. You saw the Yellowstone. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I, I, we're trying to feed the world here. Mm -hmm. and, and you know that. See. 
it, it, it's so hard when you're trying to feed the world and you're trying to come up with solutions and the solutions are causing problems, you know. Now, a hundred years ago, food was at least two, but closer to three times the cost that it is now. Even today? <laughs> yes, it's yes. People, people used to spend like three days of their work to buy food. Yeah. And it was it, when, after World War II, when food started to really become cheap, when these techniques first came out, mm. and crop yields were doubled, tripled right away. Yeah. Twice as much corn, twice as much wheat. You know, the same amount of acres. It was phenomenal. Yeah. The, the, the output, of course, the food maybe wasn't as good. And dense and, it, and nutrition. Right. Nutri yeah. Nutrient dense, right. Yeah. But it was, pe people were eating it, like how yeah. I eat a bag of Doritos. It's yeah. of no, no good for anything, but I eat it, right? <laughs> so... Yeah, so they produced this, and they brought the cost of food way down. And the, the fact that people weren't spending money on food, they can now spend it on other things, hopefully mm -hmm. education, right? Yeah. But they could, they could spend it, and so it made the economy boom. Just like now, mm -hmm. we have absurdly high cost of fuel, and it's crushing the economy. Mm -hmm. If the fuel costs were cut in half to, to the reality price, not the, not the contrived price that we yeah. have now, then there would be a gigantic boom in the economy. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, people would have more disposable money, and they would invest in things. You know, it, yeah. it, it, would, it would really be great. The trouble with this movie, this is the second review, is that they had way too much virtue signaling. Okay, they, elaborate they, on that. that. That was all infused in through it. So I don't know who financed this movie. I, I don't know the, the political inclination of this, but... The slaves did not bring farming technology over from Africa. Mm -hmm. they, it, it, there was no technology. So that's, that's what they were saying in this documentary? Y yes. Okay. They were saying, th thank God that these black women from Africa brought seeds that they tied into their hair, and they, they came over here because they and understood. Did, did a historian they, present this information? Uh, yeah. Or? Some, you so know, you, one of the... One of the Multiple, multiple narrators yeah. told all about this. And, of course, they told all about George Washington Carver. Yeah. And, and uh, there was way, way, way too much of that. So why that, do you think that's virtue signaling? Like, you, you don't think that's historically accurate? Well, first you of all, it's, it's, not, it's, it, it's not historically accurate. And yeah. there, there's no need for it in presenting the, the fact that we need soil regeneration. Yeah, I get that, like, yeah. Like, like they said, like, there's a lot of indigenous people references. So... They're, they were like, the indigenous people, they, they didn't damage the soil. Well, they had no technology. They didn't have any chemicals. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> they, they were hunter-gatherers. Yeah. They ate what was there, and, you, yeah. you know, sometimes they starved. Mm -hmm. It wasn't good. Yeah. So they're like, they didn't do it. And then the Europeans came. And when they say that, they show a nuclear explosion on the screen. <laughs> that literally an atom bomb going off. That's pretty And I'm funny. like, that is so wrong and unfair and just not. I mean, it's it's... What? Yeah. Really? I get that. Really? I get that. So, so there was way, way, way too much of that. Okay. And, and I, I, at many times, I wanted to literally stand up at the theater and go like, no, no, come on now. That's ridiculous. <laughs> what, one of the things that I found ridiculous was, I am not an expert on this, but I'm going to talk about it anyway as <laughs> if I am one. <laughs> okay. No, I, I'm going to... A man who was a farmer, mm -hmm. might have been the guy with the cape when they had that, the yeah. guy with the big overalls who actually died before the end of the movie, that guy, yeah. He died before the end of the movie? Yeah, he had some kind of problem. <laughs> but uh, he was a nice guy and everything, but what he said was, see, you see in this, thank you, whoever put this picture up. Thank you. Liz. You see how green it is there and how dead it is there? Yeah. That's real life. Yeah. Now he's saying, I did it my way and this is the, this is the Monsanto way. This is the chemical way. Okay. This is the, That's right? the message right there. Now, now right. Yeah. Agri industrial agriculture, regenerative. And, and I like this. Mm -hmm. It's unfair, but I like it. What do you mean it's unfair? Well. <laughs> it could just be. <laughs> it, right. It could just be a dusty field and. Yeah. This is my land. This is somebody else's yeah. land. This could be the year that they didn't plant anything. I don't know how this picture occurred, but. But it's it's a useful picture, but it's it's an opportunistic yeah. picture. Okay. Okay. Or they could have so, just harvested that side and. Yeah. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah they rototilled it. Yeah. I, I don't know what they did. And that yeah. that's two things. They said tilling is bad. Oh really? Yeah, they don't want you didn't, because you that's how you bring the topsoil up and then it gets washed away. So they don't want any tilling. Hmm. Another big theme of the movie was 
pulling CO2 out of the air. Can we balance the air and we're going to get all this carbon out of the air and infuse it back to the ground? And that guy said, I took 96 tons okay. of carbon. Just picture 96 tons of sand. Okay. It, That's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. He says, I took 96 tons of carbon out of the atmosphere and put it into the ground with this farming method per acre. How, would, per how, how, acre. Did, how did he do that? And well, because the, the plant, plants breathe CO2. Yeah, yeah. So and what's when the they, farming method? They, they bring it in and it goes down into their roots and then it goes into the ground. And that's what he's saying did it. Well, yeah, yeah, he's, he's, well, that, that is what that, happens. That, no, I get that's that, what happens, but he's saying that yeah, much. This is a great picture too, right? The CO2, the plants are absorbing the CO2 in the yeah. atmosphere, which, you know, which the, the car makers are all in trouble, all that, right? And then it goes through the plant organically into the ground. And these plants, they'll, they go down, mm -hmm. you know, six inches, 16 inches maybe into the ground. They're infusing this carbon from the air back into the earth where it belongs because plants need it to grow and everything. We're carbon-based yeah. creatures. Yeah. It's good. But 96 tons per acre. Now, I did some mathematics on this thing and it was fun for me. It was incredible. It took me like an hour to come up with a solution that's not even accurate. Okay. But according to my calculation of how much carbon weighs and how much 96 tons, and then if you spread it out, now an acre is about two thirds the size of a football field. Okay. So now you got 96 tons of something that's been placed, according to my calculation, which I guarantee you are wrong, I, I know uh -huh. that our viewers are not gonna do the math because yeah. it's not easy. But to me, it's, after working on this for an hour, I, I felt that it was more than four inches thick of Jeez. solid carbon. Jeez. Okay. Now, in, in the past, I was a welder, and you, you used carbon blocks because metal doesn't stick to it, and okay. the welding won't go through, and it, it's an incredible heat sink. It transfers heat, okay. so there's a whole bunch of reasons. So I know a little bit about carbon blocks. Mm -hmm. I used to buy blocks of carbon and then shape them to the way it needed to be and then weld that thing in there, Okay. and that's a lot of carbon. Yeah, it sounds like it. And then next year, there's like another, another one, right? Like, I, I said, no, this couldn't possibly be true. Now, we hear this all the time. They say, oh, your car puts like four cubic feet yeah. of, it's like, if that were true on the sides of the road, there'd be like mountains of carbon. Hmm. You don't see any of this ever. No, it's, but it's, yeah, I guess, yeah. Right? <laughs> like like all, all these tires that we drive, they disintegrate. Is, the carbon, does it become... How <laughs> that little plant. How do we go from like the air carbon to the physical carbon? Well, you got to ask a chemical engineer. Yeah, exactly. That. So maybe that's but, why it's but, not. But it is not true. What you think you know? It, Some of the science in this documentary was far fetched. Very. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Ver very much so. Interesting. And I, I don't think that. Uh, and you think there was um, hidden agenda in the movie? Oh, the virtue signaling was yeah. over the top. Okay. The virtual, the virtue signaling was way over the top. It was not part of the story. It was unnecessary. Mm -hmm. It was a hidden agenda stuffed in there. Yeah. You know, and and that's a shame when they do that because this is a, a a very important movie for everybody to see and absorb and everything. But I just don't want them to absorb all of this carbon. The Native uh. Americans, <laughs> you know, it it's it's just not part of this situation. Okay. It, it, and so, I I had real mixed feelings about it. As, as a presentation. Yeah. The message is 100%. So you give the it's, message a 10. The message is a 10. The, the presentation is, of the documentary, what are we giving that? I'm giving that a two because I was a actually- two, really? I was angry. Really? I was like, why are you infusing this in? Yeah. And the celebrities just saying- Corny? Un, yeah, corny, unimportant. Yeah. Like I said, Jason Momo, who was like, he's like, a, he's a god, right? He's Aquaman. Yeah, he he was, actually is a god. He's literally a god, yeah. Right, having him say, I'm giving you this message because I love you. It's like Jason Momoa got in touch with his feminine side over a cornfield. All right. Yeah. You know. So that's a review of the movie or the documentary Common Ground. And it appears Fred didn't have much common ground with the producers of this film. 
Um, but it's an important message and I agree with that and uh, check it out if you're interested. Please subscribe, uh, please leave a comment, let us know what you guys think about this message. Are you guys eating organic? Do you guys not care? Are you stuffing the Doritos and the Fritos down your face? <laughs> I tend to do that. Um, uh, let, let us know what you guys think about this review and we'll catch you guys at the next one.